Hey guys, welcome back. Just one more tutorial on force couples. In this video, we're doing an example problem where we have this object that uh, has a force couple exerting on it, which is the force couple with A and B, and has a moment uh, trying to rotate the object. So the question is, uh, what is the magnitude of the force? What is the magnitude of the forces in the force couple uh, needed the, to achieve static equilibrium? Well, we know to achieve static equilibrium that the sum of forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero, the sum of forces in the y direction has to be equal to zero, and the sum of moments has to be equal to zero. Well, we can tell right away that there is no forces acting in the x direction, so we're going to be okay there. Uh, we also know that in order for uh, two forces to form a force couple, that their magnitudes have to be equal and opposite. So in that definition, because we've already said that AB is a force couple, then we'll know that all of the, the, all of the force directed down will equal all of the force directed up, so the sum of our forces in the y direction will be equal to zero. So this object, no matter what we assign to the magnitude of A and B, uh, this object will not be wanting to translate or basically slide up or slide down. Um, but really what we're, what we're concerned about here is the moment, because if we pick, uh, if we pick a magnitude of A and B that isn't big enough, uh, it will not be able to overcome the rotation that this moment is trying to cause, this clockwise rotation. Um, but if we pick a magnitude of, uh, of A and B that's too big, we'll actually get a moment uh, resulting from this force couple that will be greater than 30 kilonewton meters, and this object will want to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. So basically what we want to do is we want to figure out the magnitude that we can give A and B so that the moment they cause, they create, will just cancel out this 30 kilonewton meters that's trying to rotate it in the other direction. So really, when we're looking here at the sum of moments equaling zero, so we have the sum of moments must equal zero and we'll have some positive direction uh, equals zero. What this basically saying is that we have this negative 30 kilonewton meter moment uh, plus the moment that's being caused by AB, so let's just call it uh, moment a b I suppose uh, and this must equal zero so that's saying that the moment caused by the force couple a b we just rearrange this it has to equal 30 kilonewton meters and then if you recall from the previous video we were talking about how the moment caused by a force couple is equal to the magnitude of one of those forces or either because they're the same times the distance between the forces and we know that the moment caused by the force couple has to be equal to 30 kilonewton meters. So we can fill in this left-hand side of the equation. Um, and the magnitude of A and B are the same, so I can just put A here because it will be equal to B. Um, and then times the distance between, well the distance between is 2 meters. So if we just divide uh, 30 kilonewton meters by 2 meters, we'll actually find that A here the, the magnitude of A will be 15 kilonewtons. And there we go, that by assigning the magnitude of A to be 15 kilonewtons and the magnitude of B to be 15 kilonewtons, we will satisfy static equilibrium in the y direction because they'll cancel each other out. We'll also be satisfying static equilibrium in the x direction because there's no forces acting in the x direction. And then this moment, because this 15 kilonewton meters, or this 15 kilonewtons is required to give us this positive moment of 30 kilonewton meters, um, that will cancel out this 30 kilonewton meters, and this object won't be rotating at all. So it will be, it will be satisfying static equilibrium because all of these will be set to zero.